Am I okay? What is it that I truly need? I need you to take this as a sign that everything else can wait but this. I need you to ask yourself, when is the last time I asked myself, what is it that I truly need? Really think about that. If you are a go-to person like myself, then I know that you and I share similar experiences. I know that you and I, as both go-to people, we tend to get in a space where we want everybody surrounded around us to win. We want everybody else to be happy. We want everybody else to reach their fullest potential. And sometimes as a result of that, because we are so invested around making every making sure everyone else is okay and building everyone else up, as a result, sometimes we tend to neglect ourselves unintentionally, right? So if you're a go-to person and I'm a go-to person, I know we have shared experiences. And I made this video not just for you, but I made this video for myself as well. Because I know as go-to people, we need to stop and we need to figure out and check in with ourselves and really realize and take time to think, right? Take time to think about, am I okay? When is the last time you really sat and asked yourself, how am I doing, right? How am I feeling today? Am I okay? What is it that I truly need? And if you're like me, I know at first it may sound absolutely crazy, may sound bizarre like why it might feel weird like you're talking to yourself but it's important we ask other people these things all the time day in and day out you know it's just a, a natural way of conversing with with people whether it be peers whether it be family whether it be co-workers or whoever you always are asking people oh you know how was your day how are you doing da, 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 da. and as go-to people as it comes off as second nature constantly wanting to check in on other people how often is it that we really check in with ourselves like each and every day at the end of your day i know i don't do this but i need to become more aware of doing this like do you sit down and, and really think and assess your day like how was my day what went on what happened well that day what didn't go so well that day what could have made it better right what are those things that i may have held on from that i may have held on to from a previous day or a previous week that is still affecting my days, right? I know me personally, like if you don't become intentional about it, these things that tend to affect your day-to-day -day behaviors, your day-to-day -day thought processes, your day-to-day -day moods, right? You might think like, oh gosh, like why am I waking up in a bad mood? Why am I irritable? These are things that if it is not intentionally pinpointed why you're feeling a certain way or checking in with yourself, then you aren't able to identify why there has been an adjustment in your mood or why you feel not so great. And it could be because the, these are things that have kind of built up over time and you are just going along to get along. So if you're a go-to person, like I said, this video is specifically for us, for us to take, take time. You came across this video, I feel like not by just a chance, but you came across this video on purpose because it is for you and be really intentional about and get serious about checking in with yourself. I know for me, what I had to realize as a, as a go-to person, and I had to know that it was okay to create space for myself. It was okay to create space for Terry, right? And I would consider myself a great listener. Um, not just personally, but I've been told that I'm a great listener from family, from friends. And I believe that I'm a great listener is because I create a safe space for people to come to me um, and just feel comfortable, right? Being comfortable, being themselves, being comfortable in uh, a judgment-free zone, being comfortable, being vulnerable and sharing like intimate parts of their lives where Sometimes it's just not, you're not looking to Terry for advice or help. It might start out that way, but what I've come to realize nine times out of 10, when people come to me and share with me like sensitive information or anything that's going on where it's, it may seem like they need advice, this person doesn't need, or the people they don't need advice, literally everyone wants to be heard. 
everyone wants to be heard. And for me, considering myself a, a great listener, I would encourage you as well. If you are a go-to person, then you probably have done this already. But if you don't, I would encourage you to create a safe space, right? Create a safe space for your family, for your friends to feel comfortable with coming to you and talking to you, right? Not Not creating a space where, you know, you say that, you're comfortable or or they can come to talk to you about anything but then it it's like an ounce of judgment no like for people we need to be intentional about creating spaces for people to come to us and for them to just be heard right like i don't need to give you my advice all the time i don't need to give you my recommendations my opinions of your situation because again nine times out of ten when it comes to adults and when it comes to conversations we're going to make up and we're going to decide what we want anyway. We're going to make a decision based on our thoughts, our beliefs, our processes and everything else. Sometimes we just want to literally vent about and feel feel heard, right? You want to feel supported in whatever stage you're in or whatever you're coming to that person about. So I would encourage you, right, as a go-to person, I would encourage you to carve out space for your family and friends, but also with carving out space for your family and friends, for them to feel safe with coming to you, you absolutely have to take time for yourself. And that is the, that is the sole purpose of this video. If you do not realize everything else can wait, everything else can wait in this moment, everything else can wait. I don't care what the pressing issue is right now. Everything else can wait you take a moment for yourself even if you need to pause this video and just even if you just need to pause and inhale exhale sometimes we just need to slow down because there are so many other things that can be going on right Everybody needs us. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know if you have a family. I don't know if you're married. I don't know if you're in school. I don't know if your job, if you have pressing things at your job. I don't know what can be going on. But if you're anything like me, there can be multiple things going on at a single moment in time where it just feels like there are 10 things that are tugging you in 10 different directions. And I don't know about you, but that's not a great feeling, right? That's not a great feeling. And me personally, I know sometimes it'll make me feel like uncomfortable when it's like too many things going on at one time where I just feel like I can't focus. Like you get like literally it causes anxiety. It causes frustration. It causes irritability because there's just too much going on. And if you've been feeling either of those things, irritable, frustrated, um, you feel like you lack focus or you just feel off, these are all indicators that you need to take time for yourself. Take time to really check in with you and what it is that will make you and put you back in a better space, right? So you can continue to show, and show up for the people you love because as go-to people, that is what we genuinely love to do. We love to show up for the people that we love. And it's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I need to look out for my go-to people. If you're like me, we need to look out for one another and we have to check in with ourselves. And I'll tell you this too. I was watching a YouTube video here last week and it made me realize and put some things into perspective. And it made me look internally with myself. A lady was talking about she had been the go-to person and she had found happiness in other people being happy for so long that when she would be asked questions solely depending upon her, like, what do you like to do? What do you like to eat? What makes you happy? She found these simple questions hard to answer because for so long, her happiness was tied up into seeing other people happy, making other people happy. But what is it that you like to do? And when you, if you can't figure out what you, what is your favorite food? What do you like to do in your pastime? If nobody else is around, like just you solely one-on-one, -on -one, right? What is it that I like to do? What do I like to eat? Where do I want to be in a few years? What, where do, where do I want to go? What makes me happy? Before you start thinking you are self-centered or you're selfish, for taking time for yourself, I want you to cancel out that negative thought completely. 
yes, I, it's it's great to show up for other people, but I need you to take time for yourself. And if you made it this far in the video, then that is indication that, you know, you seriously need to take time for yourself as well. And you might have just needed Terry's video. You might need it just to come across this video as confirmation that maybe you're not doing oh all that well right maybe you're not okay and it's okay not to be okay but it's even better to realize when you're not okay and I hope if you are not feeling your best right now I hope this video allows you to take that moment to take a step back right take that moment to take a step back and realize and focus on the things that genuinely make you happy focus on those things that put you in a great headspace focus on those things that make you smile focus on those things that make you laugh be around those people that put you in a place like that right and identify those things that continuously put you in a space where you don't feel your best and do those adjustments don't feel bad about it as a go-to person we want the best as I stated at the beginning of the video, we want the best for our family, we want the best for our friends, but we also have to want the best for ourselves. And that's absolutely okay. It is absolutely okay to want the best for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate it if you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also consider leaving me a comment as well. Let me know that it helped you in some form, some fashion. I appreciate it. I appreciate you for tuning in. And most importantly, if you made it this far, that that might mean that you like me and I absolutely like you as well. I highly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to the channel so you can join the Terry Shower Catching a Major Vibe, y'all. Because we'll be coming back with another video. Let's go!